you know, we played one game between this episode and the last episode. If we drew an nil, do what? I'm okay with that. Uh, but I am honestly just worried about how bad we're going to do this season. We genuinely might want to consider looking for another job soon. <laughs> I would like to stay in Wales, but we may have to jump ship. This is a Average Gamer. My name is Duncan, and welcome back to The Journeyman. <laughs> And like always, we will start, I say like always, we never start the same thing, but we'll just look at the last game, we beat Linelli Town, we didn't beat Linelli Town, we drew nil nil. Use your words, Duncan, you actually do speak English. For the game, Beb was dropped and a new striker played up front. That man is Kane McLagan. He's 33 years old and I signed him, not because I could see his abilities, his, his attributes, it's because one of his career stats, i seen that his last few clubs, he has been a phenomenal striker. Western Supermare, 6 and 30. Merthor, 22 and 40. Barry, 100 and 185 games. But, last season scored 2 and 24 in the division above us, but I have every faith he'll probably batter goals in for us where we are. Now, the reason we brought him in is because Beb's away. Uh, Beb left. He wanted to go, so we moved him on. He left to Pontypridd on a free like everyone else. Jake Cook, our newest and highest played player, decided to complain about the fact that we sold somebody who didn't want to be here and we had promised to sell. So I basically told him, because we were having a conversation, it wasn't going anywhere, and I told him if he didn't like it, he can fucking leave too. So he's still here because, you know, he backed up. This is a team we're going to play in our first cup round. Dylan Jones is injured. Jack Williams is still returning from injury. We don't have anyone else other than Aaron Williams to play left mid, which is fine. We know he can quite comfortably play there. The issue is he hasn't really played well this season, although his last five games once had a 7.2, 0 2, and I'd don't actually know how. But let's ignore it. Let's not kill. Let's go straight into the game. We're playing against what I'm hoping is pronounced Cairo Eli in the cup. I'll then play them off it in the league game. We'll come back for the second cup game and the second game of the video. I'm so worried that our form is just so bad that it's just not going to do much for us. I know we're just battling against relegation this year, but honest to God, it's just not looking pretty. We've got a lot of injuries. We don't really have anyone who's particularly amazing. And, like, we have, like, some good players in, like, some sense. Like, the defence realistically has, in terms of coaching, looking at the abilities, is good, right? But our midfield, apparently, is dog shit outside of the wings. Up front, we should be okay, but nobody can score. And our goalkeepers have just de they're just deteriorating in terms of quality and physically. So I don't really know what the hell is going on. Oh, thank Christ. I thought it was going to go in. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do. We're coming up to the end of the transfer windows. I think the loan window is shutting soon, which is fine. We'll get to January. I don't think there's much we can even do in January other than maybe guys who aren't playing might want to leave. But... I'm not convinced that we've, we've got it. And I'm not convinced that there's players that want to come that are good enough. So there is that. McLagan with the ball. Shot to Williams. Hits it long. And it's just wide of the post. And I kind of was half joking at opening saying that we might get the sack. We might need to move. But we might have to start looking at potentially... Moving on. I don't want to leave Wales. Like I want to get that done. Like, I want to stay in Wales. I'm enjoying Wales, but I've got just a fear that the team itself is just crumbling beneath our feet, and I'm not overly sure why. 
need to ask these guys to calm down to avoid being sent off. My left back is knackered, so I'll need to make a sub here. Dunn will have to play left back. You'll be a no-nonsense fullback. Yeah. Again, we're not really playing well in any way, but... Yeah. I can't remember if I took the left back with me on the bench, actually. Uh, no, I didn't. He's not even played yet. It's Barley, Billy Kirkwood, I think his name is. Haven't even featured him yet. Tim Georgievsky's playing awful. I think we'll make that change and bring Rodgers on. As that deep lane playmaker on support. Our midfield two isn't going to be the most creative. It's two ball winning midfielders. So we're really hoping that Boyd and to an extent Aaron Williams can create something. But having Rodgers there. Oh my god. Excuse me. Uh, having Rodgers there might help us create just one or two chances. This year with McLagan. Mc who wants to play as a poacher, he's got no pace. So balls in behind aren't probably going to work for us. But it didn't stop Dylan Thomas before, so I don't know if it'll stop us now. He is going to have to come off though, because he's playing pretty bad, Wilcox. This isn't great. Williams comes off. Duffy's going to have to come on. Uh, what can you actually play comfortably in that left hand side inside forward sure Duffy you can come in as an inside forward that is ok we'll play you on attack because we do need the goal and we're going to have to take McLagan off bring on Walters who will play as a poacher and hope that this can do something I am having a phone call Give me one moment, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, everybody, had a phone call there, so let's continue where we left off, which was me panicking and how we're going to get a win out of this game. We do not have a playmaker on, though, which is interesting. Wilcox with the ball at the back post, Evans collects. Putting a lot of faith in these two young boys now at 150 and 160 to see if they can do something for us. But I doubt they can. That left side is going to be open. Oh, come on! How did you not track your runner? How did you not just put the foot in front of the fucking ball? I was just going to say that left-hand side is going to be open. We've got nobody kind of covering that space. Young, he's blocking it the whole way and then he stops. And fucking Thomas Sadler just does not pick up his man. We're 1 0 down now. Let's take Cook off for Johnson and just hope this can do something. Walter's advancing. Still run with the ball. Unlucky, actually. Almost did that himself. Which would have been impressive if he managed to get that goal himself. That would have been impressive. Come on, lads. Boyd's not having a bad game. I'm calling him Jazz. His name's Jay. Why the fuck do I think his name is Jazz? Llewellyn. Rogers. Hurley. Like you had to, Duffy was actually open and you chose a long high ball to the fucking striker. The decision making in this team. When it comes to simple passes in the final third, or just like those attacking intent passes to a guy in space, we just don't fucking do. Oh no, he's open still. He's offside, thank fuck. Let's do ye all day demand fucking more. And see if this can do something. Fuck. Okay, so we're out of this cup competition. Great. Absolutely fucking great. 
We're playing them again in the league in a couple of days' time, which I am not looking forward to. Oh, Jesus. You're just out for a couple of days, that's fine. Duffy makes professional debut. Yeah. So three days' time, we'll play them again in the league. We'll be back in just a minute for you as we'll take on Hey St. Mary's in the Welsh Cup second round. By Christ, do we need a win or something to start turning this shit around. So we lost that league game one now. Uh, so we've made a little change. Going back to 4-4-2, but we're playing it in a direct counter-attack, which we haven't done yet. I think we played a fluid counter-attack before. We did. But that was the first season. So we're doing that. We're really just now throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. Hopefully, regardless of the, the, the formation and the system we're playing, we should be beating Hay St. Mary's. Regardless. So genuinely, if we don't pick up something here, I... Fully. Oh no, they are the league. They are a league side. Maybe not. Maybe not as easy as I thought this game was going to be then. That is an issue. But yeah, let's let's see if we can actually get a result here. Because uh, if not, we are... I just don't know what to do anymore. I really don't. But so far, it's all been them. Good tackle by Boyd. Cook. McLagan. Cook. Boyd heads it down to Walters. Cuts it across to McLagan. Ball is blocked by Lawless. That was a good little bit of play, actually. I like the way we won the ball. I like the fact that it was just next guy, next guy, next guy with the pass. There's no, like, fucking messing about with it or trying to go on three, four guys. It was just ball, space, ball, space. I like it. Goes with it. Aaron Williams cuts it right across the J. What a header. We're winning a lot. Boyd with the goal. Good header at the back post. Our man, Aaron Williams, gets the ball in. We're 1-0 up now, but we ain't gonna... we're not going to counter check just yet. That would be stupid, though. Be incredibly stupid if we did that in any way, shape, or form. Snaith. I think we tried to sign him. Do you know that? That name rings a bell to me. Uh, McLagan has a tight calf, but I'm going to just hold off at least until half time. He plays the ball. Davies with a touch. Cuts it back, back post. We are two 0 up now. We're we're looking comfortable, but this is also the same team that's went from three one up at half time to six three loss in a season. I honestly do not think Thomas Sadler has headed one ball on target yet. Good save by Evans. Boy gets the clearance. That is a change I do want to make. We're ignoring that just now. Spencer's probably going to be coming on now at half time to move or to move on to sub off McLagan. That ball's with the back post. J Boyd. Second goal of the game, second goal of the season, and his second back post header. I don't know how he's winning all these back post headers. I don't even think to my recollection that he's that tall, is he? He's six foot two. He should be fucking winning headers in. But we are looking good. We're 3-0 up at half time. McLagan with a, a double uh, in terms of assists right now. And that is one change that we are going to make. So Spencer will come on. He will come on from McLagan as a poacher. Somebody wasn't playing well that I've seen. It's goals worthy. We actually might make that, cha that change as well. We'll put Derek Dunn out to fullback. It is no nonsense fullback. We'll bring on probably Georgievsky, actually, who was playing in that position for us before we signed Dunn. as a central defender on cover. And that'll be a double change we're making at half time, just to try and get a bit of a better performance going. Thomas Sadler could have been subbed off, but we left him on. Hopefully he can pick up his performances just a little bit. Now as much as Duncan play left back, he is right footed, so 
that is a slight concern. That is a good turn, but good interception from Georgievsky. Like a very good interception. Well done, Boyd. Another corner, though. That is poor defending. Andrew Lloyd for them gets to go back. It's 3 1. Let's hope it's nothing more than a consolation prize. We have actually played pretty well today. Llewellyn to Spencer Llewellyn. Ball back out of the box, but it's cleared out to Aaron Williams. Who swings it in back post. Spencer was never winning that there. But good nonetheless. Can we keep ourselves in the game? Don't let them get another. Oh, Thomas Sadler's caught completely out. Good save by Evans. Thomas Sadler's becoming a bit of a liability. He's somebody we might actually try and look to move on. Which is amazing to say, because he's indeed should be the best defender at the club. But he just isn't. Okay, another time we've got the ball out. This is all looking good. Sadler, if I can. Have I got another sub? I do. Going to bring Connor Young on. Okay, Sadler is just not impressing me whatsoever. In that position. He's just not performing well at all. Jay Boyd is starting to look tired. So we're going to bring on Alad Jones as a winger on attack. We're also going to bring back for the first time in a while. Jay Williams on that wing. Uh, oh no, that should be an attack. Uh, inverted... Oh, that should be an inverted winger, right? No, we can play him as an actual winger. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know what the change was. It did or didn't make. But can we maybe get a fourth? That would be interesting. Done to Davies. To nobody. Williams with a great tackle. Done it back to Georgievsky. To Davies. Back to Georgievsky. Cook. Out wide to Alan Jones. Llewellyn. So they make that run. Spencer. Jordan Davis is picked up. Oh, long range effort right off the crossbar. Jordan Davis, reminder is always here. Awful ball up to Jack Williams, who does the right thing and heads it out for the throw in instead of conceding the goal kick. What a ball up the top to Jack Williams. Cuts it back. Spencer doesn't get in. A foot on it, which probably should have been the guy at the front. Defender should not be able to win that over him. Please win that. Oh, God. Evan just pams it right into the middle of the box. The worst place is a keeper he could have put that. We now just seem to be holding on. Let's tell the team to focus. Oh, that has went brutally bad. How can you be overwhelmed by just being reminded to focus? How fragile are all your morals and egos? Corner though. Done hitting it, who should be in the box most likely. Done with the ball back in. Back post, Walters. Good save by the keeper. Or was that just a clear shot over? Well, looks like we're ending on high. We are going through. So, on that alone, I'm not going to complain too much. We might, we're going to stick with this formation system, I think. I've seen enough to give me that little bit of hope that we might be able to start getting results again, be it draws or wins. But so much of what it's going to rely on the players. Oh, 
are done. Completely messes up there. 3-2, and now we're back to panicking. Defensively, we just fall apart again. We're not set up correctly. Guys aren't even picking up who they might be picking up. No idea what the fuck's going on there. Ref, please blow the whistle. Thank Christ. And with that, we are somehow through to the next round. A game that first half we looked so comfortable, second half we just started to fall apart again. Concerning, but we are through. Uh, did anyone just pick up an injury? Yes, he's out for one or two days. Nothing major. Uh, let's have a look at the schedule then. So, next game out, we'll be playing Barry before we are home to Carnarfon. Do we come back for the Carnarfon game? And the Bluebirds. I think that's what we'll do. We'll actually come, so we'll play the Barry game off air and then we'll come back for the Carnarfon game in the Cup before we are home to the Arbor Tillery Bluebirds and that will take us into October for the season. Our form has been atrocious. We need to start doing something well but the way things are, we are in the first fight to stay in this division. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you anything you want to say, bring up, or even criticise or compliment, please leave a comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.